Hi everyone, it's Tracy from Never Crafty and we're gonna try a little experiment today. I am going to try to make a concertina envelope. Uh, Hannah over at Dana Girls Designs is having a little contest uh, giveaway and it's not a huge one so I thought it would be a good one for me to, to wet my feet with. And I'm going to try to make a little concertina envelope. She wants three by three thank you notes, but you get an extra entry for doing something extra, and I will do the thank you notes another day. I wanted to try this, try this out. Um, so what I have here, and I've done a little bit of pre-work. These are three, and you can tell that they're kind of cream colored. They're vintage envelopes. And what I did was I glued down the flap and glued down all the sides and then I cut a slit in it and edged the slit in washi tape. So we have a little pocket here, a little pocket edged in washi tape and I have three of them. And I don't remember whose channel I saw this on but I saw this idea on another channel to glue these together with some uh, scrapbook paper. Uh, this is actually cardstock on the outside and create a little concertina envelope that you can it'll open things open up and you can put things in and I wanted to give this particular design a try because if it works out and I can do this then I'm probably going to actually purchase some some larger sturdier envelopes and make a number of these to store my ephemera in because I thought it would be a great way to store ephemera and you could make little concertina envelopes that were um you know, they're themed so that all of my you know, forest stuff could go in one and all my space stuff could go in one. So that's what I'm, that's what I'm going to try to do today. And let's give it a go. The envelope is, oh, that's an odd size. Five and a quarter inches wide. So I'm going to cut my scrapbook paper to five and a quarter inches wide. <laughs> Didn't quite go through. That'll do. And I want this to be my outside and this to be my inside. Mm, that's too narrow. <laughs> I measured it and it's too narrow. I don't understand that. See, this is the kind of failures we're going to see because I don't quite know how to use all these tools yet. So let's go with the other side and let's try it again. It's five and three quarters, not five and a quarter. So let's try again. Yeah, that looks right, five and three quarters. Okay, I've got plenty of overhang. And what I'm going to do is I want to make it pretty even and I'm going to do two buttons, one on each side and do a, a little string but I don't know how precise this has to be. So I'm just going to fold this about here. Well, that was just bad folding. I need actually a little bit more room than that in the bottom 
to give it some giving room. So I think I'm gonna try and score it. Now I had a tool that came with this, a scoring tool, and I seem to have lost it. So we're gonna try to improvise. I don't think that's gonna work. Yeah, that's not working real well. Okay. So I'm just gonna try to freehand it. Do that, and then we're going to do another little fold just a little bit up from there. Don't wanna do much. got a little gusset at the bottom. It's probably a little bigger than I need, but we'll give it a shot. And then these will go in here like this, and we'll need to do the same thing at the top. Top can be a little bit bigger. Learning process here. I don't think I have exactly the right tools to do this. All right, that might work. There we go. Oh. Gives me a rough outline. I have a gusset. So I have a gusset at the bottom and I have a gusset at the top. I don't think that's really a gusset, but I have a little wiggle room, a little box shape there. And will my envelopes still fit in? Actually, they fit in. There's, there's, there's plenty of room to spare. All right. Now that is too long. So I am going to cut it. Two and a half inches. Yeah, I think about two and a half inches. So I'm going to do something very dangerous. <laughs> and line that up there. That's one inch, that's two inch. Two and a half inches is right there. Didn't quite get it close to the edge. There, I think I got it that time. There we go. This is one of those self-healing mats. Cut on it. All right, so now we have our little envelope pocket that we're gonna use. And yeah, I'm probably gonna wanna put some stuff in there to make sure that it's plenty poofy enough. All right, now we need to glue our envelopes together first. So what we need to do is, I'm gonna use the Fabri-Tac. I'm gonna leave about an inch on either side of the envelope and start here. Right. 
Then I'm going to sit a book on top of it and let it dry for a few minutes. While that's drying, I am going to make some buttons to use as a closure for this envelope. And I have these little round designs that I thought would be pretty. And I'm gonna use my one inch hole punch because these are one inch and punch some holes. So to make these a little stronger, I am going to glue two of them together. Um, I don't know, do I want one of those and one of those? Or I think what I want is two of those, yeah. bottle's more than half empty and it does that volcano thing, so. Okay, those need to dry too. While that's drying, I'm gonna start gluing the envelope packet into the envelope. I'll do the back first. Now that is going to let some of that envelope show. I could leave it that way and just glue it there or I could cover it up no that just looks upside down <laughs> now let's cover it up I like these little stars it has a little sparkle I'll leave I do want that, that little row of washi tape to show. Okay, I'm okay with that. So I'm going to glue that down first. this down. If I'd thought about it, those words could have been going the right way. So that when you opened it up, that's good, that's good, that works. Okay. And then it'll close like that. And we'll put one there. One there. That's what that looks like. We might, we might zhuzh up the back. We'll have to, oh boy, I just screwed up. I needed to put that brad in first. <sighs> okay. So can we fix that? Yes, we can. We will just use one and we'll have it wrap around. I've creased it there, and I don't want that to show particularly. So I think I'll put a little bit of a little 
little bit of blingy stuff up here. I have an awl that I was going to use to poke my holes. It is out of reach and I would have to move the camera to go get it. So we're gonna try using my fussy cutting scissors. Yeah, there we go, I got a hole. Okay, now, Let's measure. Let's measure. This is two and a half inches. So we want it about at one and three, one and a quarter, one and a half, somewhere around there. And And I don't have a pencil either. How do we feel about that? Does it need to come down a little further? I think it needs to come down a little further. Yeah, right about there. Now we have to find the right one. <laughs> I'm gonna put the bread through the center. That actually looks really cute. And fortunately the little brad is pokey enough to where it will make the hole bigger all by itself. Go. We've got our brad and our little button, which does not look centered. I should have used some paper that wasn't so symmetrical. But, and I don't have the string. The string is, I'd have to get up to get that as well, but I'll take the piece of string and wrap it around and then wrap it around and then wrap it around. Uh, what else does it need? What else does it need? Does it open? Yep, see it opens and it gussets a bit. That was the point. So yeah, the back one not so much, but the ones in the middle and the one in the front, they open up pretty nicely. So you could store little bits of ephemera or little cards in there. Wrap it up with the string. Does it need anything else? Does it need anything on the back? I think not. I don't know. Let's, we've got this here. Let's cut it out. See what it would look like. On the front. Yeah. I think it just needs to go on the front. Do I need to get rid of the, the gold triangle? Because, yeah, I don't have another one.
right. That was not all that hard. Um, I did, obviously, I intended to put a second brad down here and I glued it down before I realized that I was being stupid. I could potentially put one and put it all the way through, but then your ephemera would get, you know, stuck on the little brad thingies and I don't think I want that. So, um, yeah, and um, that, that was pretty cool. And then I think I might take, cut some of these up and stick them in there as um, ephemera items. So, I'm going to do that off camera. Uh, thanks so much for watching, and I will go get the string and take a picture. The, the picture, the, the thumbnail for this video will have the string around. So, thanks so much for watching, everybody, and have a fabulous day.